My name is Barry Piorkowski and my business idea is a fighting art strike device um, coined the strike trainer. When I was at university, started um, studying sports science and then sports technology, specialising in um, sports biomechanics. One of the things that we try to do in biomechanics is to quantify characteristics of motion. Uh, the motion of the strikers as they are preparing uh, to deliver the blow is something that we can measure using equipment in the laboratory. Uh, for motion analysis. But what we can't measure is we can't measure the characteristics of impact itself as the impact is made with the target. So in biomechanics I wanted to be able to test the techniques and see which were the most effective um, but there was nothing out there that I could use to do that. He's developed this strike trainer which has the capability of quantifying uh, the characteristics of, of, of impact during, during strike. Strike training it's, it's a mixture of hardware and software and a data acquisition system. The hardware is modelled on the biomechanical joints that you have um, in your body, particularly the um, head neck region and also the, the trunk and waist region. It's sprung in a, in a fighting stance with the same isometric tension when you interact with it, it gives the same sort of feel and has the same sweet spots as if you were um, fighting a, a real person. If you spar with someone and pad them up, but you'd always hold back because you, you, you just, like, sort of like scared of hurting them sort of thing, like because they're like your training partner sort of thing. So you need something in place where you just go full out on it. So with this system, they can unload and give it their all without the fear of actually permanently damaging um, somebody. There is a, a, a need and a demand out there for uh, such a, a device. I think it's a brilliant idea. Excellence, I think it'll do really well. At the moment, you've only got just a normal uh, slam man and bob trainers um, where you can only do so much on it and you don't know if your power and your technique's right as well. With this, it can give you feedback on how good your technique is, how power is, and also you can go full out on it as well. You can not only record whether you've struck it yes or no, off or on, it actually measures the, the direction and the magnitude of each strike. Where you have like a weak cross or a weak hook or anything like that, you could improve on it. And you can do a scenario where you can pretend like you're in, in the ring um, because it'll give you the feedback of what you would do in the ring as well. So if you do a punch where it hasn't knocked the person out, the computer can tell you that you haven't knocked the person out, so you've got to keep on going. Instead of hitting, hitting something like a punch bag or a bob man and then thinking, oh, that was a good punch, that would have finished it there. I think the new ground that it does uh, give us is the opportunity to combine different sorts of measurements, and I think these are quite essential uh, for trying to really understand the characteristics of performance. The data acquisition system, that is the technology inside it um, that measures your interaction. So whether it be a punch, a kick, an elbow, a knee, a lock, a pull in, a push off, and it measures all the forces and the direction and the magnitude of those forces. We see it as being capable of being able to cover uh, a, a spectrum of applications. It's a good tool um, in sports science support where I'm working with um, performers and coaches. Also in self-defence for women so they could actually feel um, what it is like to strike back and not be intimidated. Gaming and where it could be used as a giant controller for beat em up type games. A fitness device in like a gymnasium where you could work out how many calories you burn off and do a bleep test and reaction time, that sort of thing. Where I want to, want to take this is um, build another prototype, um, a third prototype, which has got more of the features that are included in my patent application and then meet with investors, show them the full setup of what we've got and then work with them to commercialise it for the, for the mass market. I've already had meetings with a major games distributor that's involved both in the UK and, and worldwide with backing from Japan. I'm also in talks with one of the largest European chain gymnasiums. We've got nearly like 500 sites in Europe. Boxing and martial arts are a big thing in the gymnasiums at the moment. So the idea came about was to design something that would feel at home in that sort of environment, which would introduce people to martial arts and boxing. I've done some market research there and 
about 65% of people said they would definitely use it or they would consider using it as part of their exercise programme. If it was made commercial and it was profitable, um, then you'd be able to start distributing it worldwide and everybody would get the benefits of being able to use it then.